Le acciughe salate. Salted anchovies. Achugue My salate. good friend Bruno is with me today. Hey, io sono He's Bruno. abruzzese like me. Abruzzese di penne, penne provincia di Pescara. And he's going to help me clean these anchovies that are in this container full of salt. Yes, yeah, Sicilian. Sì, 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 Let's open them up, Bruno. Apriamola. Come no? Basta. Oh. Senti, senti l'odore. Eh, si sente da Tutta qui. la via, tutta la via. Così tutta la via, tutta, tutta, tutta. I make these videos for many reasons. And I'm very lucky to have a friend like Bruno. Oh, guarda come sono belle. Mamma mia. Che, che, che profumo. <laughs> the smell. Devo usare una... Okay. Mamma mia, sono pressate. Wow! Wow! Mamma mia! Mm. Mamma! <ride> Alice della Sicilia. Sì, se non mi sbaglio da... Uh, sciacca. Sciacca. Sciacca è... Il sale lo puoi lasciare fuori, nel senso ah, che ci vada dentro. Non lo metto. No, no, il sale lo lasci. Le acciughe l'hai preso tutte quante? Sì. Penso di sì, guarda. Guarda quanto sale. Ora quella dalle con la mano. Lento piano piano. E le dividi un po'. Mamma mia, come du è molto duro. È duro. Beh, il sale che fa le acciughe? Le fa diventare durette, eh, no? Di eh, preme. Eh, esatto, sono state pressate. Pressate. Oh, piano piano. Piano, le... piano piano piano. Sì. Perché sennò si rompono. Eh, si rompono, sì. Ah, due pezzi, guarda che brocchi, guarda. Eh, quelli li devono. Li devi, tutti devono essere individui. Sì, singoli. Yeah. Sì, va bene. It takes a little time to separate them from each other because they're yeah. pressed in the can with salt. A few minutes. Oh, look at that. Look. The salt, it's only the salt. If you go too fast, you'll break the anchovies and we don't want them. We want them whole. Oh, look at that, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Once the salt starts to loosen up, it makes it easier. The other, the other. So I love it when Bruno visits because we can speak Italian. Bruno's much more Italian than I am. Yes. That's why I love his company. I'm, I am 90% Italian and 10% American. <laughs> really. So I came to the United States when I was four years old, 1956, came with my mom and dad. And in those years, the pressure was on us to learn English, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. You want to but I more. know that we weren't encouraged to speak Italian on the streets. So I look forward to these opportunities to speak Italian, because I don't have as many as before. Are they all loose now? Now you want to, to lose the, to leave the, the water. Yeah, but are all the um, anchovies loose? Yes. Here, here, then just take the anchovies oh. out and put them in the... No, no, not with the water. Just lift out the anchovies. Ah, lift out the anchovies, the anchovies with your hands. Okay. Put them in the strainer. E più italiano di me, però le acciughe salate non l'ha fatto mai. È la prima volta. And that's another reason why I make these videos. These are traditions that unfortunately people of my generation don't follow anymore. All right, just move this out of the way. I live here. And the salt, we're going to dump it in the garden. We don't want to dump it in the sink. Fill it up with water again and put the anchovies back in there. Look at that. Yep. Because there's still some salt in them, so we just want to rinse them two or three times. Three times. Good I don't know how to open them. <laughs> we're going to open them up, we're going to open them in a minute, that's very tedious. Ci vuole tempo per pulirle. But I learned from my mom. So you want to rinse these three or four times quickly, so the anchovies remain firm. 
Otherwise, they'll soften them up. And if they soften up, then it's more difficult to clean them out very well. Allora, dagli una carischiarata, Bruno, con le mani, però piano, 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 le metti a scola pasta. So you keep the anchovies now in a little bit of in water like this. Yes. And, and, you, and you, with a finger, you slide your finger all the way down so you expose the bone. Okay. Ho detto semplice, ma io... So, Sai cosa, cosa io vedo? Io sono un osservatore, Sandro. Come tu studi, lasci questi documentari, per me, a me piace capire come sono gli italiani che sono venuti 50 anni fa, 70 anni fa. So when they're still a little stiff, they're easier to clean. Yes, you, you can, begin uh, from the head. You the can end. just remove some of the stomach that might be in there and then with a finger, yes. you get in there. This is the beginning. And you can run it all the way down to its tail. Yes. Make an opening, come back and make that opening a little deeper. And if they get too soft, you can still do it. Mm -hmm. But it gets a little mushier. So when they're still a little stiff like this, it makes it easier to get the bone out. So then you can spread it open. And it takes a little bit of time, but this is well worth it. Oh, and then with a, don't, don't bite your fingernails the day before you do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good to have some fingernails. And then you get underneath the bone and you lift it out. And then slowly but surely, you can remove it from its body. Just takes a little bit of time. You get the bone out. Mamma mia. You got a, an anchovy like this, you just put it back into the scola pasta there. Come si dice scola pasta? Scola pasta. In scola... No, in ah, in inglese. Eh, in inglese. In inglese. No, How the hell you say scola pasta? I don't, I don't know how they, they say the scola pasta. The, the pasta bo, pasta pasta. Colander. Pa how? Colander. Colander? Oh. Uh, it sucks being bilingual. I don't remember all the, all the English Sometimes words. you can't speak either language well. No. You got that okay? Can you yeah. see that okay? So you see the, some of the guts are still in here, so you want to get rid of them. So just get your finger. These 10 see. minutes, I, I take the beach, I take the, the move. The alici. Okay. Mamma mia. Yeah, beautiful. That's beautiful. So Bruno and I did a good job. We got all the bones out and we did it in about no, 15 or 20 minutes. So the anchovies didn't get too soggy. Now we're gonna rinse them a final time in uh, some water and we're gonna add a little bit of white vinegar. Let them sit for 10 minutes and then put them back in a scolabasta. So a little distilled white vinegar in that cold water again. Sardines can sit in there five, 10 minutes, whatever. And then we'll drain them. They're nice and clean and they smell great. I can wait so to then it. I take the anchovies out of the water with the white vinegar and I just lay them on a colander like this and let them dry. So the next step is to get some really, really good extra virgin olive oil. And I just discovered this brand, Sardel Kitchen Olive Oil. It is superb, very nutty, peppery. Put some in a pan like this that has a cover. It's important to have a cover so you can store this in the refrigerator or in a cold room. And once you put some olive oil on the bottom with a lots of garlic, I just squash the garlic and then cut it into small pieces. So Bruno, will you take a couple of pieces of anchovy and just lay them in there? In this way? Any way you want. And we're gonna layer them. Another one? Oh yeah, we want to cover the whole bottom. Also here? Yeah, yeah, that's it. You want to cover the whole bottom so you can't see anything. You, just, are, the, you are the professor. Just the, just the anchovies. We're going to layer them and then put more olive oil and garlic on top of each layer. Also on this side? Yes. Hey, ma tu sei molto bravo, sa?
E beh, cerco, hai tre, a metà Nice, it smells so good. But I gotta say, some people don't like the way this smells. So we just don't invite them, that's all. Nice. I don't see where it went here. Uh, that's okay, just okay. put it in there. These okay. are nice and clean. Okay. Now, in the other side. No, I think that's good. Then, you just make another layer with olive oil and garlic, and then you lay some more on anchovies on top. But we're gonna stop and taste one. You should wait a couple of days before you eat these, but we're gonna taste one right now, because they look so good. Yes. I like to serve the anchovies on a bruschettini. So I just get a, that little cracker and I put a little olive oil and a anchovy and a piece of garlic. Taste it, Bruno. How does that taste? I know it's early. These should sit a day or two, but I got a feeling they're going to taste good. And with a little glass of homemade wine. Allora, questa è la più bella bruschetta con alici, olio e aglio. Bruschetta alici, olio e aglio. È la più bella bruschetta mai mangiato negli Stati Uniti. After you lay down the last layer, olive oil and garlic, just with a fork, press everything down so the oil comes to the top. And then I leave this out for a day, I cover it, leave it out for a day so that the flavors can all mingle and then I'll put it in the refrigerator and then the oil being in the cold refrigerator will solidify but that's okay you can take it out let it unsolidify and enjoy it <laughs>